It's often asked, uh, when should I use the double equals operator versus the dot equals method to compare strings? Um, so in this example, we're going to find out why. I'm going to create a string S1 and have it give it the value of Robert De Niro, string S2, Robert De Niro. Then I'm going to compare them using the double equal sign and dot equals and see what we get. So I'm going to compile this and run it. And we'll take a look at the source code at the same time. So it looks like either one works. I can use the dot equals method. I get a match. And I can use the um, double equal sign operator. It gets a match. Everything's fine. However, if I do this, if I create a string using the new operator, which I recommend since it isn't an object and it should be created using new, and rerun the program, we get something a little bit different. It looks like only the dot equals works. By simply putting new string here when I create the strings, it saw this as a false statement. It did not run this, this um, system dot out down print line. So it looks like whether or not this works depends on how I create the string, which is kind of odd. I shouldn't have to worry about how I create the string to determine equality. And the answer and why this occurs actually allows in some details of memory. Suffice to say, when you're comparing strings, always use equal. But here's the reason why. When I use the new operator, I actually create two separate pieces of memory, two unique pieces of memory. One of them is referred to by S1, one of them refers, is referred to by S2. So in this statement right here, this is saying, do, the, do these two things point to the same object? Absolutely not. They point to two different pieces of memory. They may have the same value, but they point to two separate pieces of memory. So it's a false statement. Are what they are pointing to equal? Absolutely. Robert De Niro, Robert De Niro. Now if I take off the new operator, which you saw initially, and I just create a new string like this, as we did in the beginning, it looked like that worked. So I'll run one more time just to... show you, and we have two matches. And the reason why this works is because, again, this is details of memory, but basically when I create the new string S1, and I don't really say the word new here, it has to carve out a chunk of memory called Robert De Niro. When I try to create the second string, S2, it says, oh, Robert De Niro already exists. I'm not telling it to actually create a new piece of memory with a new keyword. I'm saying, make a new string that points to Robert De Niro. And since Robert De Niro already exists, these two simply point to one Robert De Niro in the memory, not two unique ones, like in the previous example. So when we get to this line, the compiler says, hey, do these two references, S1 and S2, point to, this, to the same object? And yes, they absolutely do. Are they equal? Absolutely. And since there's only one, they have to be equal. So, bottom line is when you're comparing strings, you should always use dot equals because you, you should not have to worry about how the strings are created and have to worry about the error you might get if they were created without the new operator. And again, I recommend using the new operator because a string is an object and the word new should be used to allocate new memory for a string.